I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will find the rate of change from the very basic definition. The question here is, a spherical balloon is being inflated. Find the rate of change of the volume with respect to radius when the radius is 10 centimeters. Now for a sphere, volume as a function of radius is given as 4 by 3 pi r cube. Right? When we are saying rate of change with respect to radius, that means delta V over delta R limit delta R. In our case, define rate of change of volume with respect to radius when the radius is approaching 10, but the difference delta R should be approaching 0 for instantaneous rate of change, right? So we can use our alternate formula which says that we can have volume at r minus volume at 10 divided by r minus 10 limit r approaches 10. You get the idea. When r approaches 10, then the difference is very, very small. Correct? At this stage, we can apply the formula and then factor. Whenever we apply this particular formula, then factoring is the key to solve the question, right? So let us substitute 10 and the, in the volume. So V of 10 will be, R will be 10 here. The formula is 4 by 3 pi R cube. So we get limit, R approaches 10, volume is 4 by 3 pi R cube minus, volume at 10 will be 4 by 3 pi 10 cube, right? 10 cube divided by r minus 10, right? Now we can take, this is a constant, 4 by 3 pi, we can take it outside. So we have 4 by 3 pi limit, r approaches 10 of r cube minus 10 cube over r minus 10, right? Now we can factor a cube minus b cube, we can apply the factoring technique. 4 by 3 pi limit, r approaches 10, a minus b, which is r minus 10, times a square, r square, plus a b, which is 10 r, plus 10 square, let me write 100 now, divided by r minus 10, right? Now we can simplify by cancelling them. So we get 4 by 3 pi limit, r approaches 10. When you cancel, you get r square plus 10r plus 100. So we get 4 over 3 pi. Now we can substitute 10 here. So we get 10 square plus 10 times 10, r is 10, plus 100. That is 4 by 3 pi and that is 100 plus 100 plus 100, that is 300, which could be now simplified. So it is 400 pi, right? So that goes three times. So you can simplify this. Right. So where the volume will be centimeter cube, so centimeter cube per centimeter, right? Radius is in centimeters. So so the rate of change with respect to radius when the radius is 10 centimeter for the spherical balloon is going to be 400 pi centimeter cube per centimeter, right? So at times you can use 3.14 and write the answer to approximate place also. So we can use this value. So that is we can do pi times 400. That gives you 1256.6 so we can say approximately 1256 uh, centimeter cube per centimeter so that is the answer for the given question i hope that helps thank you and all the best